Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Wiimod on the Steam Deck Steam OS. Okay, um, if you don't know what Wiimod is, it's a trainer program, so it lets you cheat on your games. So if you install Wiimod onto your Steam Deck, you can use that on your Steam Deck games and, you know, get infinite health, infinite money, you know, skip some of the grind. Uh, so it is kind of useful, but it's really hard to get installed. Okay, so a lot of people have asked me to do an updated video showing you how to install this onto your Steam Deck because I've done a lot of videos in the past. I think the last video I did was a while back. It was 8 point something, the version. Uh, but now, as of recording, the latest Wiimod version is at uh, 9.6.0. Okay, so yeah, um, for my method, um, I want to get things straight. Uh, you only need to install Wiimod once onto your Steam Deck and then you launch it on your Steam Deck um, and then you can select your game you want to um, run. Uh, but it only works for non-Steam games. And I normally use Proton Experimental because, um, you know, this supports the most games available. It's the latest Proton version. Okay. And um, I've tried this on my Steam OS. Uh, I'm currently on the beta channel. So my Steam OS version is 3.6.8. But I've also tried it on the stable channel, which is 3.5.19. Um, and I still got the same result. Okay, so for 9.6.0, I installed it using the methods that I've shown you in the past. I'll link those videos. And I come across this. So I come across this, what I call the antivirus message. I'm pretty familiar with this because um, in the past, I've had a lot of viewers um, having this, even though it worked for me. Um, now I get it as well. Um, but how I get like, I don't have a fix, but I have a workaround. Okay, so what I do is because I've installed Wiimod in the past, like a long time ago, I actually backed up my prefix folder. All right. And so how I help people fix this is I use my old Wiimod folder. So this is the, the Wiimod that I normally use. It's, it's using a really old prefix folder that I've, I can't remember how long ago, maybe like a year ago. And, um, so, okay, let me move my camera around so I'll show you the version. Okay, so this is the Wiimod using a very old prefix folder. And the version I'm on, you can see uh, it's 8.19.0. Okay, so what I can do is I can copy this whole prefix folder um, for you. And then um, you can just, you know, use this prefix folder to install the latest version. All right, I'll show you how it's done. But there is a, like, a, a kick. All right, there's um, what what the problem is, is this old prefix sort of has my login information. So I only do it for my Patreon members. All right, so I'll show you back in desktop mode. So let's go back to desktop mode and I'll show you what I'm talking about. See you back in desktop mode. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating, and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. All right, we're going to kill it. Are you ready? Oh my god. Oh god, they put the sauce in. Mm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. Let me move my camera back. Yeah, that's all better for me. Okay, so um okay, let's open up Steam. Here's Steam and you can see here um that's my Wii mod that I just opened in gaming mode. Let's open it up again. Just to double check, make sure it's the same one. Okay, so let's go to this. Okay, 8.19.0. Okay, so I need to find the prefix folder for this. Okay, so what I normally do is I open up Proton Tricks. 
Okay, and then I look for it. So it's VMOD, it's 306007380. Okay, so what I do is I open up my my Dolphin, my file manager, and then I go to home and then make sure the hamburger button is checked. Like you click on it and then make sure this show hidden files is checked because we go into a hidden folder. So dot steam, theme, and then um, steam apps. Compact data. Okay, and then sort by name. So I want this prefix folder. Three zero. Yeah, this one. So what I normally do is I just copy this over. So I could like copy it over for you. So if I go inside this prefix folder, prefix, drive C, and then um so I've got some games here that I'm using. All right, so um users, theme user, app data, local. Wiimod. All right, so this is the Wiimod folder. It's using the 8.19. So if I want to just update this, okay, I want to update it to the latest version. I've already installed the latest version, which is 9.6.0. So I can just copy this over. You know what I mean? I just replace this. Okay, so let me just delete this. Move to trash. And if I just copy this over. All right then it's it's all it's updated to the latest version okay so yeah let's test it out let's test it out stop stop play okay Okay, so I got this. You're not a pro anymore because um, the updated version, I haven't patched it out yet. So you can actually patch it to get pro membership. But um, yeah, since I replaced the old one, my old one was patched. Now the new one isn't. So I'm not a pro anymore, but that's okay. I can patch it back later. And then um, if you go to see here, uh, my version number, it's 9.6.0. So now it's just updated. Okay, so yeah, I could do this for you, but... Um, like I said, because uh, like you see, I don't have to log in. Like once I just copy this, <laughs> it's just got my login information and all that. So that's why I'm not just going to share it online. So you've got to be a Patreon member and I can help you do this um, until I find a way to install the latest version um, on my Steam Deck without getting the antivirus message. Um, that's the only workaround I've got so far. I'll keep trying. If I have an update, I'll let you guys know. So yeah, I hope this was useful. If you have any issues or anything, let me know in the comments or, you know, just say something nice and we can engage in a little conversation. All right, so I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.